Yeah, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. I just got back from seeing Smile, the latest horror film starring Sosie Bacon and directed by Parker Finn. This is his directorial debut. And Sosie Bacon plays a therapist and she's with her patient who just witnessed a horrific like tragedy and her patient then smiles as she commits suicide right in front of Sosie Bacon and now she's being haunted by this mysterious being that takes the form of people she sees smiling and a lot of really creepy stuff goes down from there she needs to figure out how to get out of it. I saw the trailers for Smile and I walked in with some very like optimistic expectations. I've kind of made it like my mission to see as many horror films this year as possible because we've been getting, is, is it just me or we've been seeing a lot more horror movies in 2022 than previous years and yeah, I walked into this movie and I gotta say, this film lived up, expect lived up in my expectations, and it was even more. I saw this on a Tuesday night over you know, Discount Tuesday, and I would recommend seeing this movie in a crowded theater. Like there was, the theater wasn't like sold out by any means, but there was like a normal amount of other like people in the audience with me, and hearing their reactions to what was going on, on screen made the experience even better. Because guys, smile, I was terrified while watching this film like yes this film is reliant on jump scares like throughout the film but it's they're effective well-timed memorable jump scares and the score and the cinematography and the editing and the sound mixing just creates this really eerie claustrophobic atmosphere and you feel like Sosie Bacon nailed performance and I felt really bad for her character as well because We've seen this kind of premise before. This movie reminded me of The Invisible Man back in 2020. That film starred Elizabeth Moss, who's dealing with, you know, the titular Invisible Man. Like, she's the only one who can see this, like, this monster that's attacking her and everyone else thinks she's crazy. Same thing happens with Sosie Bake in this movie, but it's, like, five times worse. Because this mysterious being is taking the form of smiling people, and only she can see it. And everyone, her fiancé, her sister, her friends, her co-workers... They all think she's crazy, and this only has a lot of psychological themes because, you know, she plays a therapist, and again, I'm not going to, like, touch base on some scenes in particular because it's spoiler-ish, but the therapist that the movie follows has a therapist. I had a therapist a few years ago who told me that, yeah, like, therapists do see therapists, so that was just a little, like, a little small detail I appreciated. And yes, this film does have a lot of jump scares and does have its, like, gory moments, but it's not, like overly relying on those things this thing like this film is the, the scares are mostly like dependent on just getting under your skin and making you like you know, the whole movie like Sosie Bacon there's not one scene without her in this film the the, the story like the writing is completely from her perspective and again it was a very powerful performance and I was rooting for her to succeed this film kept me asking questions some of those questions went unanswered. That is like one of the main things I look for in a horror movie is like, you know, leave some things uh, like don't like I think leaving things unexplained on purpose can be like used as like lazy story, like just what lazy writing. And I've touched base on that in previous movie reviews, but it's important to leave some things purposely unexplained for the reader to for the audience to interpret what's going on. And yeah, some some of those questions just go unanswered. I really appreciated that as I was leaving the theater and like you know, saying, you know, like, hey, have a nice night, guys, to all the other people in the audience and driving home. Like, I felt like when I was driving home from the movie and when I was back in my, when I got in my condo, I felt so much more paranoid than usual. And ending, without spoiling it, I could see there being a sequel for this film. If that happens, like, I, I really hope it doesn't go down some paths that other, like, horror franchises have done in the past. But yeah, like there's just this film has so much potential and live potential live up to its hype. Like the marketing for this film was like on freaking point. And yeah, like uh, this is this September. I actually been you know watching YouTube videos, but this, this September has seen the lowest box like box office, like the worst box office for any month in the past twenty five years. And you know this film it, again. It's in uh, most of that being due to like films like you know films that I have not seen like The Woman King or Bros being way too pandering towards very specific demographics and basically like saying hey if you're not like a of a certain like identity group this movie's not for you so you shouldn't see it none of those movies bomb and then like you know the filmmakers are and the actors are all shocked when the film is bomb and start blaming like people for not supporting the movie yeah Smile is not one of those movies it's you know again it's not. You know, we've seen the, like, you know, curse horror movies before, but it's done in a very effective way. And again, it's not one of those, like, those woke bombs, so to speak. Like, guys, 
support films like this, and especially because it's it's October and it's a horror movie. And again, this movie scared the absolute crap out of me. Like I was like clenching in the seats, and it truly just lived up to what I wanted to be, wanted it to be. So I gotta say, smile again. Now, there's a lot of horror films that have been coming out this year, and it's one of the best. I have to say it earns a 9 out of 10 stars. It's a spooktacular film. So, Smile, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And man, this October is going to be a crazy one. Like, uh, my internship ended the other day, and I still have to, like, uh, I had a job interview yesterday, and I my birthday is tomorrow, October 5th, and my YouTube channel turns 9 years old this Friday, and I still need to figure out what my, like, plans living situation is gonna be for for the rest of October so yeah I'm hopefully I can still make videos on a regular basis but if I can't I apologize in advance but yeah smile what did you see? have you seen it what did you think well, let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to this channel please my name is TVB9 you have a nice night stay beastly